Good morning, welcome to my review of Golden Kami episode 7. Yet another really good episode. This episode is uh, 10 of, nah, 9, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I felt this is probably one of the best episodes so far. I would say it's my second favorite so far after the running. So yeah, that was a really good. Um, it starts out so highly intense, right? It's right away, it's like they're wrestling in the middle, they have one gun each. <laughs> yeah, like right away, it's like, man, it's anime, it's anime. It's heavy, it's, it's, it's just full on, right? So that, that, was, that was really good. And I just love, I just love the whole, uh, the Hunter thing. And I, and I felt sorry for him. And he's lying there and he's dying. He's like, man, I'm, I, die, I die properly. Beast versus beast. As long as I didn't die in prison, I died in the wild. Yeah, that was like, and it felt so good too, because he was kind of like, oh, I was wrong. There are more than one wolf left. Then he got killed, of course, by the second wolf right. And he's like, yeah. That's good. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can die happy now. It's like, it's, it's, it's six moves over here. Yay! Like, that, that felt so weird to him. It's like, it's kind of he's satisfied that he didn't, didn't defeat the wolf rat because he's like, well, I was wrong. There are more than one wolf. So, uh, because he was talking about, you know, oh, we humans, we killed all the wolves, we killed all the Okamis. So, because of that reason, uh, I can kill this last wolf. It's a great hunt and they can't you know, get the wolf anyway. But I was like, wait, there are more wolves? Okay, <laughs> I was wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, was like, so that, 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 was, that was really nice. And um, I felt like a very interesting, very good character. So that, that was really nice. That was, like, that was a great scene. Uh, definitely loved it. The first half, it was really, really good. Um, then we get the second half, which is kind of like, finally setting us together, right? With the, with the old man's team. Yeah, with the, the experienced sword master team against, well, Escape King right now, but uh, obviously, furthermore, it's going to be against Sugimoto right eventually. Um, so they, they never have interacted before. The, the old man has been in the shadows. Not really, I don't the shadows, but he's, become, he's doing his own like side story, right? Until this moment, where they're both going for the same uh, whorehouse, right? And it's like, yeah, he has a fight now. So that's also good. We finally get that thing in. And uh, of course, Escape King gets actually the same thing into it. So they're all kind of the same thing or so. And I really loved his last line. He's like, oh, there's a guy after me with tattoos on him. But it's not the Kusa member. And they're like, tattoos? Not the Kusa? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that, that was good. <laughs> he did wrestle down the horse, though. The whole running scene was mainly comedic, more than serious, right? Like, um, he's run past that um, enforcer guy and he just flies up in the air. He's like, Arr! that was kind of like, yeah. And then the horse is like flipping the horse over. It's like, whatever. <laughs> Uma, get him away! It's kind of like, yeah, 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 no, that was, um, I guess it was mainly funny. Which is kind of the weird thing with Adam, right? He kind of goes into these like weird jokes sometimes, where it's like, I guess it's a funny joke. Uh, actually, it was pretty funny, but I mean, it's weird. It goes it's like, here's a guy getting arrowed in his knee, and he's dying from poison. There's like this, and then this guy is getting you know, his throat, you know, sliced open by wolves, and it's like this. <laughs> yeah, so the next scene is like, oh, this is a funny only exchange scene. It's kind of like comedic exchange scene. Um, so yeah, the anime goes everywhere. That, that was good too, for that matter. Um, we, I see the power. It's like, where's the poop? Where's the poop? Do you really love that poop? Eh? Uh, you want to get the poop out? It's like, uh, his poop. Yeah, poop. <laughs> that was good. How she, of course, loves the miso. It's like she, she needs to miss the miso poop um, to enjoy her food. And then she still talk about more how they collect all the gold. And I guess that was the last thing in the episode here. They mentioned that they mentioned that there's a lot of gold. There's a lot of gold. And I, I don't know for me personally. Honestly, it didn't matter that much. I, I, I kind of felt I just assumed it was a lot of gold. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I felt like that was kind of just how it was from the beginning, honestly. Because sure, we have some kind of image that Tsukimoto has before. That this much gold we have. But when I um, when I kind of saw um, generally this episode like two or three or so when he kind of talked about you know oh like this much gold right this much gold uh, we need so we can build this army I was like yeah okay it's, it's probably a lot of gold so, so I don't know it didn't change my mind that, that much of, honestly uh, as I just assumed that they had, that they had enough gold to you know rebuild some kind of whatever army to fight Japan and Russia or something. Whereas he, the, the, the whole plan of both the other two bad guys would be kind of like, uh, they need to be a lot of goals to make any sense of their plan, right? So I was like, yeah, it's probably a lot of goals. So I, I don't know. And it also kind of like, 
a problem in that thing is that we don't know how much that is worth, right? It's kind of like, I understand it's worth billions, but I don't know how many soldiers, how many tanks, whatever you can build with that gold, how many battleships can you build, right? They didn't explain it at all um, for a second, how much this gold means in that historic time. And I, I kind of I can, I can picture it in my head how some roughly what it is, I, I suppose, uh, because I really like history and I, you know, I read it enormous of history books so I, I think I can imagine what they could buy probably and how easy it would be and so on kinda but it still is kinda like I, I, I kinda wish they would throw it out a little bit saying that oh we could build at least this much army right we can conquer this much land at least just kind of like a sort kind of baseline at least now it's just like oh it's just a bunch of gold so I don't know because of that reason uh, we have, it's like, well, you know, whatever, I don't care, it's, it's a lot of gold, it's not going to conquer the planet, like, that's kind of how I imagine it, as a kind of special disbelief, right? So imagine me, oh, it's even ten times more, I'm just like, well, infinity times ten is still infinity, so, you know, it's a lot of gold. So it's still it's just a bigger pile of a lot of gold. Um, that's kind of how I see it. Um, but yeah. Uh, really, well, 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 sorry, sorry. One thing I don't really like though, because the cool thing was whatever, is the kind of the glorious scene there when he's talking about it. It's like a very religious scene there. It's light up, and it's like, yeah, they can't control Japan. I can do it, guys. We should take the gold and around and build an empire. And that was a great scene though, and I felt that if took his mustache there and he was cut this thing here, right? It was, it was very much like that, right? It's like very, very. That kind of nationalistic scene there, it's like, man, if you take a bus scatter, like, rip, rip, and just give him this kind of mustache, I think that would be a very recognizable scene there. And I was like, man, this scene is straight out of, like, the 1930s in, in Germany. It's like, man, this looks very, very similar to the historical, <laughs> historical events. I was like, yeah, I wonder where the author got the inspiration for this speech. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway... A great episode of Golden Kamio again, and that being said, though, even you know, that's a good thing, I think. A good thing, but I think it's good that it kind of like you know, this is how like a dictator probably gets his kind of like you know, monitor going, so it makes sense, it's not wrong. Um, so anyway, hope that's your view, and I'll see you guys next week.